আপনারা দেখছেন মিউজিক্যাল শো মিউজিক অ্যান্ড আড্ডা সৌজন্যে হ্যানা জুয়েলার্স গ্রিন স্ট্রিট লন্ডন এবং সিলেক্ট ওয়েল্ডিং গ্যাস কুকার্স কোম্পানি ওয়ালসল ওয়েস্ট মিডল্যান্ড Welcome back again and you're watching music and Adda, of course we're in conversation with a young and a very talented Nishat Mansur. Nishat, um, I want to talk about Don't Call Back. Tell me about Don't Call Back. Don't Call Back was basically when I was um, doing GCSE, uh-huh. I was part of media projects in school. We used to do Ask for School clubs. I had a really, really, um, really, really good head of media. He was a uh-huh. very inspirational man. His name is Pete Watson uh-huh. and he got me involved. on this feature film which was shot in the area mm-hmm. now they used uh, like a derelict buildings and stuff like that mm-hmm. it was a it was a sci-fi horror film where um, someone will call um, on the phone and they'll get ta- their brain will get taken over and make them do work all the time in the office so i worked on that film as just as, as, as a runner but i worked on camera i did some camera work on there i did uh, some some directing and all of that and in the end i got um, it was on imdb so i've got like a profile on imdb because from i worked on that film So that was one of my uh, So that's a good experience. It's a really really good experience. When I was when I was in school and I remember I used to be really really did, involved did, in it. Did you enjoy it? I really enjoyed it. It was one of those things that you learned so much. I mean the director there, uh, he was a hard man. I remember the director, he was a very very, you know, anything any little, any sort of problem, he'd be up shouting at everyone, be like, "Oh, this is not right. This is not right." And then I basically went over to him and I, ch- I was talking to him. I used to ask him a lot of questions and he admired that loads. Mm-hmm. and uh, in the end he, um, he he made sure he took all my details and I, I, I know recently you were on another movie as yeah. well I, I will talk to you about that okay. but before that I want to listen to another song yeah yeah which, okay. which song you going to sing uh, i'm going to sing one of my favorite songs uh, amai prashna kori nil do bata let's hear <laughs> আমায় প্রশ্ন করে নীল দুবতার আমি রবদি সাহারা রবদি সাহারা আমায় প্রশ্ন করে নীল দুবতার আর কোথার আমি রবদি সাহারা জবাব কিছুই তা দিতে পারি না শুধু পথ খুঁজে কেটে গেল এ জীবন সারা এ জীবন সারা আমায় প্রশ্ন করে আলো জেলেছিল সূর্যের আলো নিভে গিয়েছিল কারা যেন ভালোবেসে আলো জেলেছিল সূর্যের আলো নিভে গিয়েছিল নিজের ছায়ার পথ 
Wonderful. You've been singing Thank some you. absolutely fantastic songs. I mean, Thank you. how did you get into music? Well, I actually started a very long time ago when I was like three. When I was... <coughs> when you was three years when old? When I was, yeah, like three, three, five years old. Actually, I can't even remember, but it was one of those <laughs> young ages. But what happened was um, I have four brothers and sisters uh, all together. We're four brothers and sisters and we all used to... Um, we all used to learn Bangla music. Okay. Now what happened is, um, as, I, as we all grew up, we were all just as, just as good, as, good as each other. We used to do programs. Is it because you had to do it because the pressure from the family? No, no, no. We were, all, we were all interested. When we okay. were young, mm. we kind of, you know, we all had that interest. But later on, because um, I'm the youngest and they're older than me, they kind yeah. of had other responsibilities such as work and, you know, studying. So they kind of drifted away from um, singing. They Actually, moved on from singing to... They moved on from singing to yeah. do their own stuff. But mm. to be fair, music-wise, they still, they still, every single one of them, they know what they're talking about in terms of music. With me, is that my mum thought, okay, the three of them are now no longer, you're going to stick to it. And then I started, um, you know, I, I went to Kobe Nozul Centre, I learned from Mita Tahir as it went along. Is there a lot of pressure for you? Because obviously your, your sister, your brothers, they used to sing and then all of a sudden they moved on with their life. I think it was at first, definitely. Yeah. I didn't, I, at first my, my, my mind was in the wrong place. But then, you know, I wouldn't say pressure from parents, I would say very good guidance from my parents. Okay. They kind of pushed me in the right direction, showed me what was, what was good for me. And they, um, they what, you know, what did they do to help you, to support you? Nothing, in terms I of mean, your... you know, we've, we, uh, uh, for example, my mum, she was a very hard working, she's a very hard working lady. Mm -hmm. She used to take me every Saturday by bus. I live in Leighton and we used to go to Liverpool Street to learn mm -hmm. in, uh, for a nozzle centre. We used to take the bus every single Saturday. She was mm -hmm. a very dedicated woman, she wanted right. me to, to learn it. And because I was like one of the only boys there, um, it was a bit difficult for me at first. There's a, there was a transition age for, you know, with me, I wasn't really, my voice started breaking and I wasn't really at it, but I, you know, gardens from my parents and just, I stuck at it and, you know, it got me to where I, where I am today. So I learned from Mita Tahir and I went on to um, Shotten Shen School of Performing Arts, uh, where I learned from Gupal Dash. So mainly in uh, Kabi Naju Centre in Britain? Yeah, Kabi Kabi Naju Centre was where I like first mm. got together with a group. And, and, and I, moment, I, I know you're doing a lot of stuff with yeah. music and stuff like that. I will come back to that. Definitely. Uh, let's, let's sing another song. All right, sure. <laughs> This song is actually a song by, uh, it's, it's a song by Old School, the band in Bangladesh. Um, you may know, it may not, it's a, it's a very popular song in Bangladesh, but I really, really like, like the lyrics for this song. So I hope you'll enjoy it. I mean, I do listen to a lot of Bangladeshi songs. I mean, I listen to all kinds of music. Yeah, English, you probably, Bengali, you probably know it, you probably, I'm just saying for the viewers that, yeah. that might not know it. Yeah. Um, sure, let's listen. It's a very song one. Chat mama, chat 
রাতে আর হয় না কথা হয় না নে আমি চাঁদ মামা আছে বদ্ধ বড় হয়েছি আমি রোজ রাতে আর হয় না কথা হয় না নে আমি রোজ রাতে আর চাঁদের বুড়ি কাটে না চোর কারো আছিস কেমন হয় না নেওয়া গো কথা গেল সে রূপ কথারা হাজার গল্প শোনা রাজার কুমার কটাল কুমার পক্ষী রাজ সে ঘোরা কথা গেল সে রূপ কথারা হাজার রাজার কুমার কটাল কুমার পক্ষী রাজ সে ঘোরা কেড়ে নীল কে সে আজব সময় আমার কাজলা দিদি কেড়ে তুই কন্ধত্ব ধান সবচেয়ে কেড়ে নীলি কেড়ে তুই কেড়ে তুই সব বদলে দিদি কিছু জানতে ভরে যে তুই কেরে তুই যত বিষাক্ত বল মনে আমায় দেলে দিদি বলো এক শ্রুতি তুই কেরে তুই সব সহজ শৈশবকে বদলে দিলি কিছু জানতে ভরে যে তুই কেরে তুই যত বিষাক্ত বল মনে আমায় দেলে দিদি বলো এক শ্রুতি Nishad, you're very young and very talented. And Thank I, you. I know we have a lot of talented young uh, singers, uh, you know, in, in UK, Europe and worldwide, outside Bangladesh. How can we attract more young people to um, music, to, to this industry? Not just music, just uh, I'm talking about general Bangla Shangskiti yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's, 
I think people have a perception that it's all like in their heads they think, oh, I like this song, I like this song, but in front of their friends mm. probably they're like, oh, well, um, their friends might laugh at them or might make like you know think it's it's a bit strange, it's not normal. Yeah. But I think it's um, I think it's good. We need to uh, encourage more Bangla music, and because we're getting swayed towards Bollywood uh, and English music a little bit more. And because it's, it's our heritage, I think it's definitely something I, I, I that mean, should... a lot of my friends, they listen to Bangla music yeah. in their car, in their house, or whatever, but they don't understand the understand, meaning. Yeah, understanding is another point. Yeah. I mean, uh, with me, when I first started um, singing Bangla, mm -hmm. obviously I was young, I didn't really understand it as well. Mm -hmm. But when my mum and my dad, when they explained to me, oh, this is what this means, mm -hmm. when I sing the song, I sing it with much more emotion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. I think that that kind of attracted me more to singing that song. I, I mean, I'm sure you have a lot of uh, friends who who loves Bangla music, yeah. okay, who wants to sing. I mean, first thing when I when I hear from them is, do you have have to speak in Bangla? And I said, well, you know, language doesn't matter to it me. It's yeah, a exactly. universal language. If you speak in English, you I can, mean, you and I speak in English. Mm, yeah, we absolutely. could speak in Bangla if we wanted to, but I just find it, you know, it's more comfortable speaking in uh, in English. Exactly. Know, Bangladeshi. Um, mm -hmm. uh, However, if you can speak in Bengali, which is a, yeah. you know, not, another language. Bangla Boltampari. <laughs> anyway, Bangla Boltampari. Nisha Dasanath Kamadu Shata will be back after a short break. Shata Itakun, Shangi Itakun. Aptara Dikchen, musical show. Music and Atta Shoujo ne Hannah Jewelers, Green Street, London Ebon, Select Welding Gash Cookers Company, Walsall, West Midland